Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. I'm Renee, I'm 25 and I love makeup. But today I am gonna be getting rid of some. I am gonna be doing a foundation declutter. And if you missed my palette declutter, I'll link that down below. But basically my goal here is to curate my collection down to something I love and will use. And I currently have 16 foundations. I have a sister who just returned from Korea who's in need of some beauty products. And I have a best friend who lives in the same area who I can uh, pass along some products to. Hopefully my sister, uh, I'll be able to see her soon to give her some products or if not, I'll just send a box up there. So I wanted to go through before that point and get rid of any unnecessary makeup that I can pass on to them just cause I have too much for one person and uh, products that I don't necessarily love, they might. So why not pass them on to someone that will love them a little bit more than me? But without further ado, I'll get into it. So this is a new one that I have. This is the Woma Beauty Say What uh, Weightless Soft Matte Hydrating Foundation. And I ordered this because I really, really, really want to get into black owned beauty brands and potentially do a video on some of the products that I've found through that search uh, because I do think diversity in all areas, but especially in cosmetics is important. And uh, I would definitely want it to support small indie black owned brands if I can. And uh, Woma Beauty, this foundation is vegan and cruelty free. And this is really cool because for each sort of category of color they have a different different skin concerns that are typically associated maybe with that kind of skin tone and they break down their foundation that way which i thought was really inclusive <laughs> and really cool so i wanted to try i have it in fair lady t1w and i definitely will be keeping this so far i have loved this so i want to keep playing with this and it might be like a top tier foundation for me. Uh, this Sugar Rush Skin Treat Blurring Skin Tint I have in light. This is part of Tarte's Sugar Rush line, which is an all vegan line that they launched. It looks like it's marketed towards like maybe a younger demographic than I might be, but I love their products because I like that sort of minimalist look. And it's all vegan. So this is a really, really cool product. I do love it for a tinted moisturizer since it's vegan and cruelty free. I'm considering passing this on to my sister. So I might put this on the side and see, I recommended it to her. I'll see if she's already bought it. If not, I might pass this on to her because she needs a tinted moisturizer and I'm a nice older sister only because I also have other products that kind of serve that same purpose in my collection. But otherwise I, I do really recommend this. And these are two that are along that same line, the Guerlain Lingerie Depot BB Creams. And I loved these when I first tried them in like 2017. They were like my holy grail. And they're still really good. However, they are discontinued. They're also not vegan or cruelty free. Pasta Clara, come on, honey. No. No, no. You know it's inedible. You're just gonna shock yourself. Uh, sorry, I lost my train of thought because my cat is trying to eat my phone charger because it's remotely string light. <sighs> she's cute, but she's reckless. I wonder where she got that from. But, so they're not vegan or cruelty free. I honestly don't use them that much anymore. And when I do go for something like this, they are really nice on the skin, lightweight, hydrating. And I do like them. I just don't love them and I can never repurchase them. So it's one of those products that once you fall in love with, it's gone, which kind of sucks. So I might pass these on. I'm gonna put these in a maybe pile. And I know I didn't come back to the maybes in my palette declutter, but I'll come back this time, I promise. This Il Maquillage woke up like this in 050. It's a flawless base foundation. I fell for their little marketing gimmick. I don't know if you've seen it on like Instagram where like you take a quiz and then they give you like your ideal foundation shade and finish. Um, I'm not gonna lie, it is not my ideal finish. It's matte, which I don't usually go for. I go for anything from natural to dewy because I have really, really, really dry skin. Uh, the color's okay. It's like a little dark and uh, like kind of olive -y, yellow olive -y for my skin tone, but I can definitely make it work when I have self tanner on, which I don't right now. So I kept it <laughs> originally, but I really don't need this either. So I'm gonna pass this on. That's one. I don't know if Claire left my room. I tried to put her out. I, I think she's still in here though. I think she's under the bed. Uh, but that way she won't eat my cords at least. But 
Uh, next up, I have the Ilia True Skin Serum Foundation, and I have this in shade 3.5 Corsica. I love this. This is one of my holy grail, <laughs> holy grail foundations. It goes on the skin so nicely. I really, really enjoy this foundation. Vegan and cruelty-free, so I would definitely recommend this, and this is stain. So that is two in the maybe, one going, two in the stain. Next on my Ilia Super Serum Skin Tint SPF 40, and I have this in the shade, I think it's five, Bomb Bomb. Bomb Bomb. Bomb Bomb or Boom Boom. There's no, I think it's Bomb Bomb. Uh, I love this. If you like lightweight hydrating, this like gives me, it's, it's literally like a serum with color in it. If you can see how it comes out of the dropper, so serum-like. And that's what I really love about this product. I do have dry skin. It does have skincare in it. And if I'm going for a no makeup makeup look, this is perfect. And I absolutely love it. Vegan, cruelty-free, and stain in my collection. Next, we have another object that's staying for no significance, really, except I just... <laughs> Nostalgia. Sorry, I dropped it. Uh, this is my Tushy Claw Cushion Foundation from YSL. And it's got my little... Um, initials in it uh oh i guess you guys will know my last name's initial scary uh but it, it's just a cushion foundation that's really nice great color i love the way it looks and i love that it's got my um initials on it and even though it's not vegan or cruelty free so i can't repurchase it i will use this up happily next i have my l'oreal infallible 24 hour wear in 420 this used to be my holy grail foundation it is not vegan or cruelty free, but I don't know if you can hear that. My cat found a cough drop wrapper on the floor. I'm sure she didn't originally find it on the floor. I'm sure it ended up on the floor because of her, but she's playing with it on the floor. This used to be my Holy Grail foundation. It's not vegan or cruelty free. And I thought it sat so naturally on the skin and was like a perfect color match, but, but I actually recently have really fallen out of love with it. So, uh, and I do know somebody who really, really enjoys it. So I'm gonna pass it. On to free. Next, I have my Youth Activating BB Cream in shade 2 from Shockley. This one my mom gave to me. I didn't purchase it, and I don't like it, but my sister really, really does, so I'm going to pass it on to her. Next, I have my Juvia's Place I Am Magic Velvety Matte Foundation. I bought this kind of for similar reasons as the one one. I wanted to try and see if I can find a smaller, indie, uh, preferably black-owned brand for a foundation that I really liked. And unfortunately, I don't love this one. It's too full coverage and too mattifying, so it doesn't really work for my style of makeup or my skin to, like type <laughs> being dry. Um, I have it in Capri in shade 630. It's a decent shade match. Um, I just don't personally love the finish, so I'm going to pass this along. Next up, I have my Natasha Denona Face Glow Foundation. I have this in 30. It's cruelty free, not vegan. I don't like it. I think it actually has been discontinued. I really don't like this. <laughs> I was hoping for something that gave a glow, was a good shade match, which it is, and provided some coverage. But I find that this, I don't know if I have like the world's worst face glow foundation or what, but when I put it on my hand, it comes out as water and pigment or like a liquid, a clear liquid and pigment. Like it's not mixed together. Like the pigment kind of comes out separately, <laughs> like like an egg, you know? <laughs> it's got like a yellow middle and then like the white part. So then I have to like blend it together on my hand and then it like is really patchy and breaks up on my face. So I don't know if it's this specific tube or if it's my skin is just too dry for this glowy foundation, but then like who would it work for, you know? So. I'm going to pass this on if, like, none of my friends want it. I think I, we could just throw it away. <laughs> Next, I have my Dior Backstage in One Neutral. I had heard really good things about this foundation. It's not cruelty-free. And I purchased it probably, I purchased it before I went cruelty-free. But I won't purchase it again. Um, I do really like it. I do think that this is medium to buildable like a medium full um and it does make you look really flawless and this is a really good color match for me so i am going to keep this as kind of my medium to medium full kind of it's probably these probably have about the same coverage in them so kind of 
I'm not going to call them dupes because I don't think they perform super similarly, but I want, I have these for the same purpose. So when I use this up, I will just be repurchasing this one, if that makes sense. Next, I have another one that's really easy for me to give away and it's a cult favorite. So hopefully I don't like really offend anyone, but I have my Too Faced Born This Way and I have it in pearl and warm nude. Um, I bought warm nude originally and then I, I think, and then I was using one of my friends in pearl. Uh, Brianna, if you haven't seen that video that I did with Brianna, I'll link it that down below too. But <laughs> pearl matched me so much better. So then I went out and bought pearl and I, you know, used one when I was in the winter and one when I was in the summer. And I just don't like medium to full coverage foundations enough to like justify owning these. And I, they kind of emphasize my texture, emphasize my pores. Again, I don't know why. I don't know why a lot of these like really cult favorite foundations just don't end up working on me. <laughs> but I know that Brianna really enjoys this foundation and uses it. So these ones will also go to Brianna. Another one that's obviously staying is my Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation that I have in 4.5. It's in my project pan. I don't want to show you guys where I am. So it's on the back. So I've kind of shaken it up so that you can't like see an obvious like line of where the project product is because uh, I've got another week and a half before I film that. But uh, I really love this foundation. It's what I'm wearing today. Oh, <laughs> has that brush hair been on my face the whole time? <laughs> oh no, that's embarrassing. Um, it's what I'm wearing today. I think it's a, an excellent color match. I think the finish is really nice. I'd say a lighter medium buildable to a fuller medium. I think it's perfect as an everyday foundation. If you have dry skin and you're looking for a good foundation match and they have it in your color, because I don't think that they had an excellent color selection when I bought it. Buy it, but uh, be forewarned, Armani is not cruelty free and the product's not vegan. So if that, if you aren't, don't care about that stuff, then I do recommend that foundation. But if you do care about that stuff, I would recommend the Ilia one. Because again, I think that, I don't think I mentioned this, but I do think that this one is a medium coverage, uh, buildable to like a medium full coverage. So, but it is still lightweight, which I really enjoy about it. And then my final one, I think is one that I'm throwing away. So another one I'm getting rid of. This is the Why Sell All Hour Foundation in BD40. And I bought this when I, I went through a period of like really bad acne. I can put some pictures here that like destroyed my self-esteem in like 2017. So it's when I was like 23, I think. How old am I now? <laughs> 25? Yeah, it's 23. And it didn't clear up until my, uh, I got re-prescribed birth control pills for my 24th birthday. And then um, I've been dealing with like, you know, the, the scarring and marks left over on my face from that period still to this day. So it's been super fun. But so I, I was super self-conscious of my skin and I wanted, um, until that point I had been wearing kind of like lightweight the way that I do now my makeup. Um, Cause that is my preferred style of makeup. I went out and I purchased this foundation because I had seen a lot of beauty gurus. Uh, I think most notably Tati, uh, Tati Westbrook talk about this. And I was like, wow, maybe at least this will give me something to wear when I go out at night or to like fancy occasions, you know, maybe not for every day, but when I want to look extra good, feel good about my skin. Cause I, oh, I really didn't. And I would be happy to do a video talking about adult acne. <laughs> And the different struggles that you have with adult acne versus teenage acne, because I've suffered from both. And I might do a video on that because I think it's I'm, it's something I'm super passionate about and I think it's super important uh, to talk about. But anyway, this did help me feel more confident and help me feel better. So it did serve its purpose, but it is at this point three years old and I haven't touched it in a while. And I do think it's probably past its, its expiration date and my skin is clear, I think really it's a blessing so i think it's time <laughs> this journey acne journey of mine has come full circle and i will be throwing this one away and that is all of my foundation so i think i will keep my Guerlain uh lingerie depot for now i might get rid of them in the next declutter but for now i will keep them so for now i'm keeping seven and i will link which seven those are but down below if you need a recap and i am throwing away one and i'm giving away eight so i think that was pretty good i'm giving away and throwing away more than i'm keeping which i'm really really satisfied with so awesome i hope you guys enjoyed it please like it if you like the video please subscribe if you want to see more and i'll see you in the next one bye